Good morning, welcome to the video for fifth grade for lesson 6.1 from Into Math. This is Mr. Parks, the math teacher at Risen Christ Lutheran School. So after concluding our module on uh, working with volume of shapes, we're back into working with fractions. And so we're gonna review a little bit of some of the things that we've worked on to start out, uh, specifically finding equivalent fractions so that we can add and subtract. We can never, um, accurately do that uh, without finding equivalent fractions. So for instance, um, for our first problem, we are working with uh, Marley and Jackie um, saving a certain amount. So we have three eighths of the cost for the tent and one half of the cost. And then we want to add those two things together. So one way that we can do this is to go ahead and make fraction strips. Um, so I'm gonna have this be the whole. We'll make this be a half. And so here's the amount that Jackie saves. Actually, I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna make this be the part that Jackie saves. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, except I am gonna divide this one up into eighths. So we'll do this. And now we've already saved this amount. I need to add three eighths more. So we'll say that we shade in this part here and then we can find our final answer. So how do we combine that? We can use the fraction, fraction strips to help us. We could also change this fraction. So uh, one of the things that we worked on last year would be multiplication um, to find an equivalent fraction. So it could look a little bit like this. Um, and so our one half is worth four parts out of eight, and then we could do four eighths plus three eighths uh, to get seven eighths. Um, so those are two things that we'll be using a lot. Um, that's the other way that we could solve the problem for uh, the question that's down here at the bottom. And then uh, for our second example, um, I'm gonna scoot. Let's get this out of the way here. That's for our next lesson. We don't need that yet. Um, we have a one half pound bag of trail mix, um, and then he eats one fourth of a pound, and we want to figure out how much he has left. So, how can we use fraction strips? We can do this. So, So here's how much we started with. Here's how much we ate. And then here's how much uh, we would have left. So we change it uh, from halves to fourths. We X out the part um, that we uh, removed and then we have this amount left. So we can use fourths to show the amount that he has left. And then we could do uh, one half minus one fourth equals one fourth. Um, so those are a couple examples uh, to show some of the things that we've worked on. Um, I'm gonna do one more problem. And so down here, we are working with uh, one half mile along a trail to a signpost. And we wanna know how far it is from the waterfall to the nature center. Um, so we're working, uh, we need to go one twelfth of a mile um, from the sign to get to the waterfall. So we would add those two things together. And so I'm actually gonna pause the video because this one will take a little bit more time to draw and I'll be right back. All right, so here's our picture. Um, I've went ahead and divided the bottom part up into 12s using different colors to kind of help make it stand out and show like I started with one half and then split it into fourths and then split each fourth into thirds to get 12 equal parts as close as I can with uh, the technology that I'm working with. And so we start by shading in uh, this amount. So that would be worth six twelfths. Uh, for the half mile, we add one additional twelfth in there uh, to get up to seven twelfths. So 
Um, those are some examples of things we'll be working on today as well as on the homework. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me either by sending a text or email for my Risen Christ students. Hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.